Skin tones is something that you'll often notice as feeling a little bit off, particularly if the lighting conditions weren't quite right or if the camera settings were off. And because we're looking at pictures of our fellow human beings, it's often something that we really notice, even if it's just a little bit off. In this case here, I'm gonna take a look at the skin tones and they're mostly right, but they feel just a little bit off to me. First up, I'm gonna recover the highlights just a bit, which helps. And looking at the skin tones, they feel just a little bit greenish. If I come down here to the HSL, I can look at the hue for each area. Using the red slider here, watch how I could change the balance of the red. And a little bit extra is helpful there. Going into the orange slider, same thing, how we could balance that. And just making subtle changes to the hue. You also may find that you want to use the saturation slider. Putting a little bit of emphasis into the orange tones there definitely brought out the skin tone nicely. If we look at that there, you see that the skin tones are just a little bit richer and better color. Now, one way of doing this as well is the vibrance slider favors some of those same skin tones and you could bring those to life. Let's take a look at a different skin tone, but same sorts of issues. And what you're gonna discover here is it's really the same thing. It doesn't matter what color the person's skin is, it's the blood underneath. What we're doing here is adjusting for the color of blood and getting that red quite right, which flows through everybody's skin. And when you have that balanced, you get an accurate skin tone. So looking at this here, I'll start with those hue sliders and I'll just move the red slider a little bit to the side and you see how it changes. I like this side by side view here and that was helpful. The original skin tones here were shot outdoors on a really bright sunny day. As such, his skin was just a little bit redder than it naturally would be. I can also play with the orange slider here and I wanna preserve that so that we keep the nice natural skin tone. Using saturation, I'm just gonna bring up the saturation amount slightly and I'm happy with that change. It's quite subtle here, but if you look at those, you will see that we toned down the red amount and got the right balance on the skin tones itself. Again, this is a very subjective change, but knowing that you can use those HSL tools as well as the traditional Vibrant slider here, you'll see that very quickly you can get good overall skin. Vibrance tends to affect areas beyond the skin, so be careful, but if you stick with the HSL tool and you use the hue and the saturation and lightness for the reds and the oranges, it's often quite easy to refine the skin tones to a point where you feel they look good and natural.